Hello, friends. This is Dave Hurwitz, executive editor at ClassicsToday.com, here with a review of The Complete Sanson Symphonies on Warner, conducted by Christian Machelaru with the Orchestre Nationale de France. Now, I really wasn't going to listen to this. I, I think I mentioned this because, I, but, but Machelaru here did a recording of Dvorak's Legends and the Czech Suite for Lynn, which was really good. He, he's, he's in charge of two orchestras now, the WDR Symphony Orchestra in Cologne and this group, the Orchestre Nationale de France. Yeah, so those are two very prestigious groups. And he's, he's a young, youngish guy, 40-ish, and he's got these two big positions. And he's made a bunch of recordings, and I was sort of ignoring this because we, we've been sort of flooded with Saint-Saëns symphony cycles. I mean, there was the really good one on Naxos. There's another one on Bis, and what I also have to work through. And then there's this one, and it all they all showed up more or less within a few months of each other, kind of, sort of. And I felt like I was all Saint-Saëns out. You know, I wasn't looking forward to it because I really didn't know what to expect. Well, I listened to it, and lo and behold, it's really good. I mean, it's really, really good. I mean, as good as any of them out there. It's a wonderful successor, given that it's on Warner, to the classic Martinon Saint-Saëns Symphony Cycle, which is also really, really good. I, I think that that what makes Mazzolaru special in doing this music is that he he doesn't he doesn't push the tempi to insanity, but he has rhythm and he has articulation. And so you really get to hear the music and it always sounds like it's going, you know, with more energy and impetus than just mere speed. You know, it has drive in addition to speed. And I think that's marvelous. Even, well, let me give you some examples for, you know, just to talk about the, 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 the Tarantella finale of the Second Symphony. You know, the Second Symphony is a wonderful work. Nobody plays it. It's wonderful. And it, it, has, it has so much finesse and so much, uh, such a tangy sense of rhythm and beautiful timbral differentiation between the orchestral sections. I mean, he's got the orchestra desk, you know, playing very well. And they're also very well recorded, which they aren't always. So that was really, really, very really pleasant. Or the finale of the first symphony, the, the numbered symphony. You know, that is uh, uh, so much fun. It's a march, you know, and it's got sax horns and lots of harps and things in it. And, uh, you know, he plays it completely without vulgarity. It has grandeur, really grandeur, a big, rich orchestral sonority. You hear everything you're supposed to hear, the cymbals go, and the, but it doesn't sound vulgar. And as it can, quite frankly, it just has exactly that right sense of majesty and forward propulsion. Or the Herbs Roma Symphony, it's one of the not numbered ones. That's the biggest and longest one of them. And it can kind of fall apart if it's too trudgy, but not here, not here. And it's not because his tempi are notably faster. They're just more intense. And I think that's marvelous. But of course, what you're all gonna wanna hear about is the organ symphony. Well, we have Oliver Latry on the organ, and not a word, by the way. I was looking around this thing about what organ it is, but it sounds splendid. It was a, supposedly recorded in the, the, the Radio France studio or whatever it was, and something like that, but it sounds marvelous. It's beautifully integrated into the orchestral textures. They, you know, Latry is a wonderful organist, and they they get along. But again, this is one of those performances where it isn't fast, but it's precise. I mean, the first movement, that wonderful tune in the first movement, chugga 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 boom boom chugga 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 chugga. It has just it it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect in terms of its flow and in terms of the articulation of the theme in all the sections of the orchestra because so often you hear it and you know the strings will go chugga 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 the wood ones will go yeah 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 you know someone gets it right sometimes some section doesn't but here they're all on point you know the adagio the second movement is beautifully flowing with the organ very very nicely touched in the scherzo is really rhythmic and remember, I did a whole talk on the opening of this scherzo about how, depending on 
on how it gets played, the accents can fall on different beats of the bar. Sometimes it goes chugga chugga chunk, chugga chugga chunk, chugga chugga chug, like at that. And then, then sometimes it goes chugga chugga chunk, chugga chugga chunk, chugga chugga chug, you know, depending on, on how they accent it. Well, this is all the same. The accentuation is totally uniform throughout the entire work. And uh, it just sounds absolutely splendid. At the beginning of the finale, you know, when the, the motto theme comes in with the piano four hands rippling in the back and the serene chorale and the strings, he takes it very softly, very, very soft, very serene, really, really beautiful. And then all of a sudden the organ comes cranking in and you have a nice differentiation of bass frequencies. You know, there's, there's an organ on the bottom, but you can also hear a bass drum when the bass drum comes in. And, and the whole thing is, it, it's just marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. It has that same grandeur that we heard at the end of the first symphony without any sort of like crudeness and, and I, I mean, the, the final peroration really perorates. I was, I was really, really shocked. I didn't have high expectations, I have to confess. Not just because the conductor is a young guy who isn't too familiar, but because these native French productions of this piece tend not to go very well. I'm not, I'm not sure why exactly. It's, it's the organ is wrong or the orchestra is having a bad day or the engineers are out to lunch. I mean, it, it's, it's often a combination of those factors in recordings of the organ symphony. But here, they just got it right. This is a really, 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 I'm knocking myself here. This is a really, really good set. And I recommend it fulsomely with a full heart because I was really impressed. And uh, it's always so nice when you're, you're really impressed and you're not, you don't have very high expectations and then something pops up and really surprises you. And this was one of them. So again, the Sasson Complete Symphonies, and they're beautiful works and they all deserve more attention, not just the Organ Symphony. I mean, we should hear the earlier ones. They're, they're fine pieces. So, um, and there are five of them. I mean, come on, you know, with Oliver Latry, organ person, and the Orchestre Nationale de France under Christian Mazzolaru, really first-rate stuff. Don't miss it. And keep on listening, friends. Thank you for joining me. Take care.